Uh, yeah, right, this is uh, the third video of uh, the TV section. This is uh, the horror sci-fi section. All right, uh, first up, American Gothic. It's a nice sort of set. Um, it includes four episodes that weren't shown on television. Good weird little series. I remember it back in the day on Channel 4 when it was first on over here. Uh, Dark Skies, another one that was on Channel 4 over here. Um, this is really, really good. Um, showing alien um, infiltration of the American government between late 1940s and the early 1960s. Really, really good. Really, really good program. It came out on the uh, came out on DVD only a few um, a few months ago. After constantly saying you know it was going to you know after, yeah, over a few years, and now it's finally come out. And I'm glad to see it. it's a really good program. Uh, Fear itself. Um, it's quite flimsy packaging. It looks nice. Uh, flipper discs, which is a bit of a shame. Um, I know a lot of people kind of go on at this saying, "Now look, it, it, it's no masses of horror," but there's some really good episodes on it. Um, Easily the best I've seen is um, the Larry uh, Fessenden one. That was really, really good. Um, about the uh, yeah, about the Wendigo. It was a really, really good episode. Easy as good as anything Master Power have done. Um, uh, Forever Night uh, about an, uh, about a vampire. Um, I think he must be. I think he's 800 years old in uh, modern day Canada. Comes a cop. I've watched in the first season, uh, it's not bad. Um, I'll try to pick up the other two seasons, but they're a little bit pricey at the moment. I'll see if they go down. Um, here are the complete uh, Freddy's Nightmares this is a fan set I got. Really, really well done. Um, I'll try to open it up a little bit. And that one just fell out, that's <laughs> as it would do. Um, but uh, it's, it's a really, really nice set. Um, The first three um, and the scenes themselves. Uh, the last one is full of extras from um, a lot of the nightmare movies. See there? You can see that. I'll try to show you if you have a look. It comes with various things. A lot of lot of extras. There's a lot of time gone into this. I won't say who the uh, the guy is. You know, I don't really want to feel much of his details on YouTube. But you know, he he he's done a fantastic job. Um, I really must pick up at some point as well. Um, Friday the 13th and Tales from the Dark Side, you know, they've been released, they'll be pricey, but you know, I'm going to try to pick them up at some point. Uh, Cold Track Night Stalker, this is just kind of the sort of an X Files type series of a uh, 70s um, uh, of a journalist investigating aspects of the paranormal. It's a good one, pretty just good camp fun, really. It's a good one. Uh, Lost Tapes, kind of a mockumentary TV series that was on a uh, animal planet, um, kind of showing aspects of cryptozoological uh, attacks, some kind of mythic animals. Pretty fucking awful, to be honest. Um, yeah, the first four seasons, or oh, the seasons, sorry, of uh, Master Power. Um, to me, I mean, you, you get the odd. Kind of shitty one, but I mean, m most of them are good. I mean, you, and you get the odd one that is absolutely fantastic. Uh, John Carpenter's uh, Cigarette Burns, it's fantastic. Um, imprint, uh, but um, Takeshi Miki, that was really good as well. Um, the Washingtonians, that was another good one. Oh, I know, I'm forgetting. Oh, there was another very good one with um, William Paul Seif as a demonic ice cream man. I know I'm probably forgetting a few here, but you know they're mostly very, very good. Um, uh, three seasons of Millennium. I'm a big fan of Millennium. Um, I think it's, in my opinion, the three seasons are stronger than all the seasons of the X Files. I wish Chris Carter had carried on doing more of these. You know, um, Lance Henriksen is just amazing. He's Frank Black, the FBI agent who can um, kind of foresee the future. Um, to see murders kind of before they happen, and it, it, it's it's really really fantastic, um, fantastic program. I, I can't speak of it highly enough. Um, Paul Guys and Legacy, I got this pretty cheap. Um, I think the other seasons are out now. I gotta be honest, from what I've seen of this, oh, I unless the other seasons drop <laughs> extremely cheap, 
I don't think I don't think I'll be picking them up. Um, five Seasons Supernatural. Um, I really do like. I like Supernatural. Um, first four seasons were fantastic, particularly season two. I really thought season two was the strongest one. Season five um, didn't really feel epic enough, and I think if they kind of stuck with their kind of five-year plan and finished it on season five, giving it a, a really good dramatic ending, it, it would have been a great all round. You know, that have done like another season, and, and I'm. I'm glad personally they've done another season because I found the last few episodes of um, season five a real, a real bore. That gods episode with the various gods are fighting Satan is just, just one of the worst shows of any program I've ever seen in my life. It's absolutely unbearable, and at the ending as well with the they bring back that brother and the, with him and Sam in the graveyard. It's just so. Um, just with him, Sam and Dean, you know, in, in the graveyard, you know, Bobby and that, it just, it was just so shit, it was so awful, um, it was really bad, um, but, you know, I mean, I, I, I've only seen the first couple of episodes of season six, and I, I'll, I'll watch them at some point, I've just got a lot of, um, a backlog of watching a lot of stuff, um, the, here we are at six seasons of Tasman the Crypt, I'm missing... Season six, you know, I mean, this is, I love the Tales from the Crypt, fantastic, fantastic, can't be fun, fun just brilliant. Um, I've got actually season six on the way. Um, this is Tremors, uh, complete series. This is a good little companion piece to the films. Um, the only real, the only real thing I would say is, uh, oh, Burt Gummer there, you can tell he's only signed on for a certain amount of episodes because he doesn't turn up for like the last three episodes and it really suffers for it but up until then it's really really good stuff um, I, I really like it really like that and the last on this shelf and the last of the TVs is the X-Files complete box set with the first movie I've got the second movie somewhere else I prefer the first movie to the second movie anyway um, for me uh, the X Files, while being great, I I prefer the more standalone episodes. I, I can't say I'm that really enthralled with the storyline, the, the main storyline. I, I really like the standalone episodes, particularly like the monster episodes. Like um, I like the shapes, the wealth episode from season one. Really, really like the Calisari one. Um, the exorcism vibe in season two. Um, of course, tombs as well. I love tombs. Um, really like Big Blue as well, the Lake Monster episode from 3, the Conquistadors in the Forest, um, that have got red eyes, kind of in shadow shapes, um, can't think of the name of that, but that's a great one. Home as well with the Inbred Family, the Johnny Mathis song playing in the car, wonderful, wonderful, that's great. But, but for me, I mean, some of the strongest seasons, I know I know a lot of probably X-Files fans would hate me for saying it, but I really, really like Doggett coming in. I think he's... <laughs> I think he's great, and the episode, one of my favourite ones is Patience with the Bat Creature, really really like that episode, but you know, as I say, they are strong, but I prefer some of the standalone episodes, but, um, and that's a really nice box set as well, and so uh, this is the end of um, the television section, I'm going to be doing, I think, a DVD update, and then I'll be showing off um, the Blu-rays, and um, Cheers for watching and cheers for subscribing.